Russia may run out of military equipment by the end of the year. Russia may run out of equipment by the end of this year. This was stated on air by military expert, military pilot instructor, reserve colonel of Ukraine, Roman Svitan, on Channel 24. It is noted that the Russian occupation army currently holds its main resources in Donbass, but the enemy is already starting to burn them. Meanwhile, in the Kharkov direction, the Russians do not have enough manpower or equipment. Svitan believes that there may be several reasons for this. Moscow did this on purpose and abandoned the occupiers to their deaths, a lack of resources, and the inability of the Russian command to calculate the required amount of resources. According to him, because of this problem, Russia begins to throw unprepared reserves into battle. Since Ukrainian troops destroy the enemy very quickly, the aggressor country simply does not have time to prepare reserves, says Svitan. The issue is not even in preparation, but in staffing. There is no equipment. Certain estimates indicate that by the end of the year, it may run out completely and the Russians will work on the fly. And this is possible at most on a front section of 100 kilometers, the expert explained. This is precisely why the Kremlin is trying to stop the fighting and stockpile equipment. Russia's unsustainable war spending masks underlying weakness and fragility, and the economic costs for Russia are mounting and will compound over time. Meanwhile, NATO allies have been making historic investments in their own defense industrial bases, he said, as well as increasing defense spending. This year, Ukraine, with the support of the United States and other allies and partners, has made remarkable diplomatic progress as well, he said, including bilateral defense security cooperation agreements between Ukraine and some 20 allies designed for long-term assistance. Earlier, U.S. Central Intelligence Agency Director William Burns warned that without more U.S. military support, Ukraine could lose on the battlefield, but that with support, Kyiv's forces could hold their own this year. Whether or not Ukraine can recover the territory that Russia has taken, though, is less clear. Russia is grappling with Ukrainian drone strikes on its oil refining industry deep inside Russia and missile attacks using U.S. weaponry on Crimea, which Russia annexed from Ukraine in 2014 and now considers to be part of Russia. Magura V-5 naval drones are key asset in Ukraine's Black Sea triumph. Ukraine is significantly ahead of Russia in the development of unmanned marine systems. This was stated on air by Andriy Yusov, a representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. According to him, the Russians collect and study the wreckage of Ukrainian drones after each marine operation trying to recreate them. We must state that neither industrial espionage nor such activity has allowed the aggressor to come close to developing unmanned marine systems. Ukraine is significantly ahead of Russia in this matter, the main intelligence directorate representative emphasized. Yusov noted that marine unmanned systems destroy enemy ships together with their crew with BC. At the same time, operators work on this remotely. This is our weapon of the future. And Magura is a successful application of this weapon of the future. I think that the development will be stunning in many areas. This is not only an attack drone, but it also carries out reconnaissance evacuation missions. This is a platform that has great prospects, a great future, he added. According to him, the world is interested in this weapon, but today it must work to liberate the Ukrainian land, sea and sky. As reported, Magura V-5 is a Ukrainian unmanned surface drone used for reconnaissance and destruction of Russian targets. Earlier, the Political Science and Security Studies Journal conducted a study and determined that it was this drone that destroyed the largest number of Russian ships during the Great War. According to their data, 22 ships of the occupiers were attacked by sea drones, eight of which were destroyed. Mikola and Mamai hit two ships, Sea Baby 4 and Magura V5 14. The defenders usually conduct attacks after dark when visibility is much worse than during the day. For the Russians, this is a significant problem that they cannot solve. Consequently, the Black Sea Fleet recently commissioned the Russian company Laboratory PPSH to produce, among other things, thermal imaging systems for machine guns. These are intended to enable the Russian army to conduct more offensive surveillance of drones at night and generally have any possibility of defense. The Magura V-5 drones, which wreak havoc among Russian ships, are popular constructs with a length 
of about 5.5 meters and a width of 1.5 meters. Although they are relatively large in size, due to the lack of appropriate tools in the Russian Federation's arsenal, they are still difficult for the aggressor's army to detect. Thanks to their size, the Magura V5 has a large payload capacity rated at 320 kilograms. Additionally, the mobility of these drones is also significant, 